global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. We have two very interesting news. One has to do with the fact that uh, the NGC have said to react to uh, the news making rounds that two out of the five justices that upheld Tinubu's election have died in a very suspicious manner. Of course, they were said to react to that news. And of course, uh, Bola Tinubu have been sent a serious warning that he should take care there might be an alleged upturning of his government. We're going to give full details on that. That's also a former ally of Tinubu giving that warning that he's getting as fillers. But before going to Unis, we'll kindly subscribe to our channel. Let's get to the first and then we'll hit the ground running. Now, according to the news, the National Judicial Council, NGC, and the Court of Appeal have reacted to the mysterious death of two of the justices who upheld the election of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in 2023. Now, according to NGC, the rumor suggested that two of the five justices on the presidential election petition tribunal, Justice Mr. Bolaji Yusuf and Justice Bolokoromo Moses Ugo died under suspicious circumstances. Now, social media posts claim that Justice Bolaji Yusuf was found dead just hours after, after appearing to be in good health. Another rumor stated that Justice Ugo allegedly passed away following strange, strange noises from his room with family members reportedly finding him bleeding and unresponsive. Now, however, the NJC in a statement by its secretary, Ahmed Gambo Salah, as Sally, labeled the report as completely false. Please ignore the news. Let me quote him word for word. It is a lie. The justices are all alive, well, and doing their jobs, Sally assured the public. Additionally, a senior official from the Court of Appeal condemned the rumors. The official described them as the work of mischief makers and said that the justices were in good health. It should be recalled that the panel of judges which upheld the election results of the February 25, 2023 presidential election declared Bola Ahmed Tunubu of the All Progressive Congress APC the legitimate winner. Now, the tribunal dismissed petitions from opposition candidates that is Alaji Atiko Bubaka of the People's Democratic Party PDP and Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party LP who both contested the result. Of course, let's find out what one of the allies of Bola Metinibu is telling him ahead of time as the feelers are really strong on the fact that Nigerians are no longer smiling. The cost of living has skyrocketed and is telling Bola Metinibu to watch his back because Nigerians are no longer smiling. Now, according to Aragba Shola, uh, who, who happened to be a one-time governor, spoke at length. Now, the former governor lamented the widening gulf and socioeconomic sh distance between the rich and the poor. Former Oshun governor Raf Aregba Shola says that the troubling and parallel state of the nation could trigger a revolution that may assist the present government. Aregba Shola stated that the widespread economic hardship and galloping inflation in the country portends serious danger and may spell doom for the president Bola Ahmed Tunubu's government if the situation does not change. Aragwa Shola, a one-time ally of Tunubu, spoke uh, in a panel session at a panel session, a uh, national dialogue on the parliamentary bill organized by the parliamentary system support group in the House of Representatives in Abuja. Now, the former governor lamented the widening gulf and socioeconomic difference between the rich and the poor. He bemoaned the concentration of wealth in the hands of few, adding that there was even distribution of wealth when he was growing up. We have been we, we have seen worsening economic situation, even political and spiritual conditions of Niger of Nigerians. You don't need to be a, a nuclear scientist to know that a smaller percentage of Nigerians are now prosperous. Not that there is no prosperity in Nigeria, but it is a decreasing it is decreasing daily. Arak Bashola implored Tinubu's government to address the prevailing challenges to prevent a potential revolt. When I was born, I'm quoting him word for word now. He said, When I was born and during my developmental years, 
wealth was not as limited to the hands of a very few people as it is today. So what does that tell us? It tells us that we are in deep trouble, said the former Ocean State governor. We would not be here discussing this if things were normal in Nigeria. Arabosola explained that whatever does not give appropriate opportunity or rights to the people will be resisted no matter what you do. He, had, he added as well, he said, if other things fail, people can revolt. If we are conscious of all this and understand the consequences of things getting out of hand, we would be interested in finding the best ways to govern ourselves. Of course, Nigerians have taken to the social media handle to respond. Let's quickly get one or two reactions and look at this critically. And this one here say, who this man, Arabo Shola, is something else. But he's just trying to be relevant, but he has missed the end point of his political career. Soon he will be forgotten. But somebody replied him by saying, but he's saying the truth. Widespread hunger will lead to unrest next year if something urgent is not done as soon as possible. Uh, somebody answered him, said the truth is better. These criminal occultic men have said have sold Nigeria to their ward. They have no feeling for the poor and the suffering. Okay, but let's look at what they are saying critically without uh, being biased. Let's start with um, what uh, the CJN and the senior officials, judicial officials are saying. Uh, the justices that upheld Tinubu's political um, elections, they are very much alive. Some said, leave that thing, it is propaganda. I don't want to go through the conversation. The conversation is something else. Um, they've said Omana, that uh, propaganda after the was That's not the same thing they said about uh, uh, the ch chief of army staff. And eventually it came out through that he has passed on and all that. That They should check where those two justices are actually they've passed on. I wouldn't know about that. But what I do know is that based on the response and the reaction of the senior just just the junior senior ju ju judicial officer and cjn uh, njc rather sorry njc sorry uh they say they're doing well if they're not doing well why would they say they're not doing well so let's take their word for it that they're doing fine and i'm sure at some point uh, some of these justices may just probably just you know say hello to nigerians uh, i guess they're just you know doing their job quietly and living a quiet life then for that of Harry Boshola, he may not be an ally anymore to Bola Metunibu. They're not actually I don't think they are even when it comes to politics, they are two poles apart, you know. But you, you don't really like he rightly say so you don't need this uh, rocket scientist or nuclear scientist to tell you that Nigerians are suffering. There's wealth in this country, enormous wealth, but it's actually in the hands of very, very few. Look at what Wiki is doing in Abuja. He's insisting that he wants as Abuja to be an international mega city. When the people are poor, you are just trying to raise criminals that will end up disturbing the so-called very rich. Let's make Nigerians, uh, you know, comfortable as much as they can, and let's make Nigeria governable. Because when the people are happy, then it's easier to govern. But that's going to wrap it up. You may have a contrary view. Let's put in that conversation. We'll also take. Have a